this is our pollination plugin for Rhino, which basically makes Rhino a full flight energy and environmental simulation interface. And by that, I mean now if I say Control O for opening a file, I can open Honeybee JSON file. I can also open like GBXML file. Um, green buildings are close to a couple of times, which is short. No, it doesn't. Oops, I don't know why. Oh, here, because it's called Pollination Green Building, that's fine. Um, and we will support OSM and IDF, so you can just open them like native Rhino files. So for this one, let me do the Honeybee model, Honeybee JSON. I copied the file here. Open. And now you can see what I got. Like, so I had an extra face that I selected. I can clean that up. But this is the model you can see from the preview. I can see the model by face set. If you are an energy modeler or work with Open Studio, these colors should be familiar to you. Uh, now you remember this was a Honeybee JSON file, but now I can actually save this as a 3DM file. And now you can share this 3DM file with someone else who has Honeybee plugin and it loads as an energy model. So just to show you what I mean is if I go here and get like a new model in meters, open, so this is back to Rhino. And now I go back and instead of opening the Honeybee JSON file, I'm going to open the Revit sample 3DM file that which I just saved. And you will see this is now like a full model, like it has all those, it's a generic office, oh, it didn't change this, should I change it? Or, yeah, you can change all this too, like, you know, like if this is an office and it should be residential, so I don't have it here, I can go add and then go here, there, we have mid-rise apartment here, and then like we have 2013, we are adding 2016 and 19 shortly uh, open studio team added it i can clone and edit it if i want uh, or i can keep it like this i can say okay it says it's loaded i say okay okay and this one is changed living room to mid rise i can go ahead and edit all of them or i can select multiple and edit them together but what i have found especially for this workflow a lot of people do this stuff in their software that they want to use namely ies or open studio they have measures they have python scripts that does this for them you can set it here, you can set it in Revit, uh, remember. And because it's Honeybee JSON, it will be imported correctly. So now that I have um, file ready here, um, I'll just save it as GBXML. So save as, it's this one right before. So you can see it's like green building XML and Revit model GBXML. Save. Okay, do you want to save it? And it should save it here. 